Welcome to the We Don't Have Cookies Thanksgiving episode with your host, Jason Marshall. Hey, everybody. Thanks for downloading the show. This week in the United States, we're going to celebrate Thanksgiving. For international listeners who aren't familiar with Thanksgiving, it's when families get together, eat a huge meal. There's a couple of football games on. It's basically the preseason football version of Christmas. It's okay, but it's not as exciting as things are going to be in about a month. So today I have some of the podcast family and friends on this episode. It's going to be a lot of fun. My first guest has been on the podcast a lot in the years since he first appeared as a guest. He's the only person in the history of the podcast who has exclusively been interviewed while driving. It's the host of the Pocket Party podcast. It's comedian Darren Carter, the party starter. Hello. How are you, buddy? I'm on the road right now. I'm actually walking. I just left Cracker Barrel and had a great experience. I'm about to go out to eat myself. I (laughs) I got I, I got to tell you this only because we don't have Cracker Barrels in L.A. Uh-huh. So when I'm on the road, I try to hit one up just because I love it, man. I love the whole atmosphere in there. I like the food. But, I, you know, I, I got, I'm sort of in a quandary because I've been exercising, kind of eating right, and I'm actually seeing some changes. So yesterday, uh, I walk into Cracker Barrel, and I'm like, all right, I'm going to go to Cracker Barrel. But then I sit down, and I'm like, man, I can't eat this stuff. This isn't good for you, you know. Let me get a salad, which sounds weird, right? Why? Getting a salad at Cracker Barrel, it's kind of like flirting with like the, you know what I mean? Like uh-huh. it's like, yeah, I like going to strip clubs, but I just like the music. I uh, <laughs> actually close my eyes and just kick back and listen to the tunes. It's like, yeah, buddy, you're playing with fire. You know, you you don't go to Cracker Barrel for the brand muffin, you know. <laughs> so I, I order the salad, and I know this sounds sexist, but I do prefer a female waitress, especially at a Cracker Barrel. Because you want that country southern woman that's like, hey, darling, did you want some more coffee? I mean, you, you know, <laughs> yeah, I just, that's just a thing. I just I'm sorry. That's the way I feel. And, and I'm, I'm edgy. <laughs> <laughs> I, so I like how I'm using your podcast as uh, open mic comedy, <laughs> 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 a writing session. You're like, dude, this is all going to get edited out anyways. <laughs> so the guy, the guy comes over. He, oh, so he, I go like a salad. And then the male waiter is like. He goes like this. He goes, is there anything else? And there's something about what they say, is there anything else? Or will that be all? I'm like, you know what? Give me, I'll take two pancakes. Why not? I'm thinking, no, at least I've had salad and two pancakes. It's okay. Jason, I'm not even kidding. Half hour later, the guy goes, I'm sorry. They did a recall on all of our lettuce. We don't have Whoa. salads. I know. He's like, and I wanted to bring out the pancakes and the salad at the same time. So the pancakes are ready. And I'm thinking, these things have been up there for a half hour, like in the window, just waiting. Like, uh, no, thank you. <laughs> so, so now I'm debating, do I just leave? Because I didn't, you know, I can get a salad anywhere. Why would I, right. you know? She goes, I can make fresh, pan- I can tell them to make fresh pancakes. And I'm like, okay, yeah. And he goes, he goes, will that be all? <laughs> Again. And I'm like, man, I didn't come here just for two pancakes. I'm like, I'll take eggs because it's protein. It's good for you, right? Right. He goes, no problem. Dude, I'm telling you, another eight minutes come goes by. He comes back. Oh, how did you want the eggs? They want to know in the kitchen how you want your eggs. I'm like, uh, right now. No, <laughs> no, I want the eggs. No, I go, I'd like the eggs <laughs> scrambled. It, it doesn't matter. And then another, I'd say another seven minutes goes by. So now we're up to 45 minutes. And I did something I very rarely do, but maybe because I'm, you have, once you have a birthday, you get a little older, you're like, I'm like, I'm leaving. I literally just walked out. I just walked. I go, I'm, that's it. I got out. If I would have saw the guy, I would have told him, but I didn't see him. I wasn't going to go looking for him and waste more time. So right. I just walked. And I got to tell you, it feels really good to do that. There's, it comes a point where you're like, as my buddy Lou Santini on my podcast says, that's amateur behavior, just not having the food right, not coming back to tell you. you know. And I wasn't rude to anybody. I just, I just walked out. I got to tell you, Darren, you said at the beginning in the story that there aren't any in L.A., there actually are Cracker Barrels in L.A. They're called Caucasian Barrels there. You've been looking for the wrong place. <laughs> yeah, they're called Caucasian Barrels. Yeah, yeah, which actually sounds even worse, right? Like, yeah. I know, I thought about that. I thought, what if I ever have like a really good Cracker Barrel? Because I did, I told the story last night and then I added some other parts to it. I talked about how like, because this one is more like, I mean, I'm in Phoenix, Arizona, so it's a little bit hip. And, you know, you're, I mean, you walk outside, there's like a Forever 21. I mean, you're not really, it doesn't have that whole Cracker Barrel feel. 
Now, when I'm in the South, you feel like those decorations that are in there kind of blend in with the whole community, the whole time zone. Like it's not really, no, no one's playing dress up. Mm-hmm. In fact, yeah, if you ever go to Cracker Barrel, they got these little triangle puzzles with the golf tees. Yeah. In the South, I, always, I do a joke. I go, yeah, and if you solve it in the South, they're like, damn, we should make him the mayor. <laughs> no. <laughs> He's a wizard. <laughs> you know. And it's, it's just, <laughs> so yesterday I walked out 45 minutes and I was just like, yeah, I walked out of your cracker barrel. I'm an alpha male. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've been dying to talk to you because you mentioned something on the Pocket Party podcast. I was listening yes. to it recently and you said that you're 49 years old. But you never explained why, and I was really hoping you'd get into that. Do you mind telling the listeners oh. why you're 49? Why I'm 49? Because uh, I guess I was I was born and lived to be 49 years old so far. I don't know. Okay. That's some fascinating shit, Darren. That, <laughs> <laughs> I, I really wish you would have said that on your podcast because it's been probably two weeks. And uh, I thought, why is he 49? And uh, that's when I reached out to you to be on the show because I wanted you on for Thanksgiving because you're you've been on the oh. podcast a lot, but I also I really yeah. wanted to get to the bottom of that. Speaking of Thanksgiving, what are you thankful for this Thanksgiving? Well, I am thankful for a couple of things. I have to sound boring, but I, I do like technology. I like that I have a cell phone right now. I'm able to talk to you and walk around and be on a podcast and have people hear this conversation. I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful for, believe it or not, new ways to make money as a comedian because you don't just have to rely on performing on stage. There's a thing called Cameo. I don't know if you guys have heard of Cameo.com. People can hire us for um, to do personal videos. Oh, okay. And uh, it's kind of cool, man. People have been doing it. Like I just did. I just <clears throat> literally opened up my phone and, and shot a video a couple hours ago. And it was cool, man. Somebody hired me to break the news to his younger brother that he would like to invite him to be his best man at his wedding. Wow. Yeah. And he had me do it as Snoop Dogg. <laughs> so, so I open it up where I'm like, I go, Hey, it's Darren Carter, the party starter. I, go, I got a special guest for you. Then I turn the camera and then I go back and I'm like, wow, wow. What's cracking? Hey, what's up Caesar? Yeah. This is the big Snoop Dogg. Did he go double G? And I did, I did the whole spiel, but kind of cool. Yeah. I like that. Who would think you would do that? You did. Somebody hired me once to wish their dog happy birthday. <laughs> I'm like, all right. And I actually, uh, you know what? I did. I, I started actually people go, do you ever laugh when you're doing stand up? And I'm like, never, because you, you sort of construct these stories. And even like now how I'm telling you the story about Cracker Barrel. So I'm used to hearing it. Uh-huh. I'm used to working it out. But that was the first time I'd ever wished a dog happy birthday. And I just, the ridiculousness of it. If you go to Cameo and you look Darren Carter, you'll see it. I think it's like Derek cameo.com slash official Darren Carter, but whatever I'm, I'm out there, but you, on that one, you'll see where I'm like laughing. I'm in my parking garage, literally holding my phone out and I'm parking like a dog singing happy birthday. <laughs> like, I'll give you a sample. I'll go, I go. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> you must've had a choke like collar on while you were doing that. Yeah. And that was when, <laughs> By the way, Snoop Dogg charges five hundred dollars every time you hire wow. the real Snoop Dogg. Uh-huh. And I tell the audience, I'm not, I, I do it for rock bottom prices. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he doesn't even hold the camera up. He just kind of like walks around. Oh, well, what's up, Jason? <laughs> hey, happy Thanksgiving to you and your family. Yeah, get high. And then that's it. And you're like, wow, five hundred bucks. But it's cool because you're like, wow, Snoop Dogg, wish me happy birthday or whatever. That is pretty cool. Well, most people have turkey on Thanksgiving. It's the traditional main course, mainly because it's a big bird that can feed a lot of people. But Americans are used to eating big meals these days. Do you think we should change yeah. eating turkey to something bigger like giraffes or whales for Thanksgiving? <laughs> That's a good one. You know what? A lot of people are going meatless these days, so I don't know if even those are good ideas. That would be pretty cool, though, like to have a giant tumbleweed where the turkey used to be. <laughs> there you go. And there's like this giant tumbleweed there on the, on the Thanksgiving table. <laughs> uh, and everyone bow your head and pray and thank God for the tumbleweed. <laughs> the tumbleweed where the mall used to be that's gone now because everyone's buying things online. <laughs> yeah. What's the weirdest thing you've ever eaten? Ever try to eat a picture frame or anything like that? Maybe some pillow stuffing? You look like a guy who would yeah. eat something weird like chili cheese fries or pennies or something. This is a true story. This is a true weirdest thing. I didn't really eat. I didn't swallow it, 
But I'll tell you, this is a good one. I was living in San Diego at the time. I opened up a can of beans. I put the beans in the bowl. And as I'm eating the beans, I thought I felt like a chicken bone. Uh And I pulled from my mouth a gold crucifix. Whoa. Yes, a cross, a little cross that was probably about an inch long, maybe an inch and a half. It was pretty big. And that was a crazy thing to like, you you feel something in your mouth and you're pulling a cross out of your mouth. Yeah. That was a trip. Did you eat it anyway? I nibbled on it. No, I'm just kidding. No, <laughs> no I, this will be good luck. No, no, I, 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 I thought, I, well, the re, you start getting, well, a couple of things. You're thinking, is this a sign from God? Is, am I the chosen one now? I mean, you start thinking all this stuff and then, and then you start getting kind of like, well, how could that happen? Then you think, well, maybe someone that worked at the cannery wore a necklace and it dropped and maybe that's what happened. I don't know, but it was, it's definitely a trip when it happened. Well, I like to do a thing on the show called a question from my last guest. What I do is I get a question from my last guest to ask my next guest without my last guest knowing who my next guest will be. The question can be silly or serious. Darren, are you ready for a question from my last guest? Yes. How do you feel about stuffed animals? And if you have any, what are their names? I love stuffed animals and I don't have any. My son has a lot, but I don't. I had a little teddy bear when I was a kid like a lot of children, but that teddy bear is long gone. And I, I do miss that teddy bear. I wish I could find him. I wish I could see him. It's probably in a horrible condition. But, you know, as you get older and you move around and, like, kind of you lose stuff and you're like, damn it, I wish I could find that teddy bear. Just about every time you've been on the podcast, I've played a song for you by a listener, John the Songman. He's almost always gotten your name wrong or sent in a song about you that wasn't really about you. So, <laughs> yeah. So this week, instead of having him do a song for you, since he's part of the We Don't Have Cookies family, he's going to be a guest right after the break. Before I go to break, do you have anything you'd like to promote? Um, I just want to say thanks for having me on. And, you know, we don't have cookies and a cracker barrel we don't have salad <laughs> and, uh, yeah and uh i want to give a shout out to cracker barrel because i went back today and yes i had a female waitress and yes everything came out on time and yes i left a nice fat tip because i really appreciated the great service today but um yeah if there's anything i want to plug thanks for checking out my podcast as well pocket party podcast and you know like these like i said i just want to be in people's rotation right we just want to mm-hmm. be People have like their 10 podcasts or whatever that they listen to and keep us in mind. Both of our podcasts. It's pretty cool. Since it's Thanksgiving here in the U.S., I think it's only fitting if we end your interview with a traditional Thanksgiving song. For those not in the U.S. or familiar with our customs, before families eat together on Thanksgiving, it's a tradition that we sing the Star Spangled Banner together. So to give thanks, me and Darren, if you're up for it, we'll do the age-old tradition of singing the Star Spangled Banner. We won't do the entire national anthem version, but the shortened Thanksgiving version. Darren, are you ready? Um, yes, I am ready. I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll go. I'll just go up to the first sentence, and you could uh, maybe take over. Okay. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light? What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight, o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the rocket's red glare... The bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. You coming in on this one? Oh, with me? Say, oh say does that, that star-spangled banner yet wave or the, oh, land, the land of the, the free? free. And the home of the brave. Happy Thanksgiving, America. Happy Thanksgiving, America. We love you. Want to contact the show? Send an email to jason at wedonthavecookies.com or call 929-266-9342 and leave a voicemail. Hi, I'm Mike Furman, and you're listening to We Don't Have Cookies. 
I am back, and joining me now is one of the members of the We Don't Have Cookies family. He's a man that you all know. He's one of your favorite parts of the show. He is the best because he sends in songs for the guest. They're never too long, man. <laughs> it's John the Songman. How you doing, John? <laughs> Fabulous as always, and it's great to have every time back on the air. Just so everyone's aware, because just so everyone knows, I've always got a song to share. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> what are you thankful for this Thanksgiving? Well, mostly it's always about the friends, family, and some of them that are kind of like you, being like a family member. Because what do you know? You're one fan of the song, so I can't go wrong. Because I'm thankful <laughs> to have always having a song. Because James. You are the man, and I do what I can to show you I'm your song, man. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> do you have any funny Thanksgiving stories? Well, as always, I'm thankful for, like I said. But, hey, it's just so everyone knows, I'm always here for you. And did you say you wanted to do a recording, or were you already doing it right now? No, I'm already doing it right now. I was uh, wondering if you have any funny Thanksgiving stories. Oh, no, not much. It's nothing good, but I will always say, like, I've been doing maybe two or three years for a little Thanksgiving uh, rap for you, and maybe I can do it right now for everyone that's listening. Yeah, sounds good. Okay, just so everyone knows, I just have a little thankful thing I would like to give to all of you, because it's the time of Thanksgiving. So what I would like for all of you to do right now is wake up, everyone, start your shower singing. Because this is the time your doorbells will be ringing. Because this is the time you will be thinking when the doorbells start ringing. Because it's time to say Happy Thanksgiving. Nice. Oh, yeah, definitely. I may have messed up that one. But <laughs> ah, I did that's right. all right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no problem. That's always thankful for you. Do you go shopping for Black Friday? Oh, yeah, definitely. Let's get. I don't even know why. I don't even know why we're already at the Black Friday. For God's sake, it's already been a whole year already. For God's sake, hard to believe, huh? It's hard to believe. You, like I said, has been definitely busy. Been keeping up with everything. Me as well. But hey, it's great to end the year for happy moment to cheer. And I wonder what James is going to be doing for a big Christmas year because it's going to be time to cheer and have no fear because we're really you know new decade for us that we've been waiting forever to hear well song man i want to play a game with you if you're up for it not at all let's go for it all right the game is called native american or asshole i'm going to give you yep. the name of five people if they're a native american say native american if they're an asshole say asshole you have to get all three <laughs> <laughs> you have to get all five right in 30 seconds and you get a prize are you ready oh i think i'm up to it maybe you're kind of hard but we'll see what it goes for all right, and your time starts now. Pocahontas. Native American. Chevy Chase. Native American. Nope, he's an asshole. Squanto. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> yeah, who, who was the other one? Squanto. I'll say asshole for that one. That's uh, a Native American. Bill Cosby. Oh, <laughs> screw me. I'm, <laughs> I'm sometimes out with a couple names. <laughs> Bill Cosby. Asshole, but he's a... He's also both and Native American. Julia Roberts. Asshole. That's right. All right, yep. John. You didn't get <laughs> all five right, but uh, I really uh, like you. I'm going to send you a prize anyway. Oh, what the hell? That's a nice idea. Do I've you... already got one. So what do you know? A good buddy like mine, like who's for you? What do you know? That's a time to go, hey, woo. Oh, I really appreciate <laughs> it, buddy. I'll see what a big prize is. Stan, a nice Christmas gift. Because I'll make sure you're the man. And like I said, I do what I can because I'm also your fan. And that's why I'm even your song, man. <laughs> well, you want to know what your prize is? Oh, let's go for it. What would it be? All right. You get three brand new business cards I just had printed up for the show and a 1999 quarter. What are you planning to do with those? Oh, I don't know. I have quite a few collections of those. So what would we say? Let's get it to collect and see what I build up towards toward 20. See where that goes, just because it's just for you, because you're my man. All right, John, before you go, do you have a Thanksgiving song you want to sing for us? Hey, you out there, just to let you know, I want you all to get in that shower and start singing, because pretty soon your doorbells will be ringing, because just so you know, it's Happy Thanksgiving. So this is the time you give Turkey away for giving. <laughs> all right, song man, I appreciate you being on the show, and Happy Thanksgiving. 
oh, okay, you definitely have the same, buddy. And I'll make sure I come out always. It was a hell of a time, and it's always do what I do just for you. Make sure your time before Thanksgiving gets a woo. All right, I'm going to take a quick break, and I'll be back. Okay. This week only. No money down. No payments till spring. No payments in spring. No payments ever. When? This week. This week only. We pay the GST. We pay the PST. We pay for delivery. We pay for everything. How do we do it? How do we offer these fabulous deals? Volume. Volume. We got the most. The best. The worst. We've got it all. We got everything. Except one thing. What's that? We've got no store. No products. So come on down. This week. This week only. No parking problems. No parking payments. No parking lot. You don't have to park. You don't even have to come. So don't come down. Stay away. Stay at home. This week. Every week. Every year. No money down. No payment ever. That's nothing for nothing. This is Dan the Beast Sever, the only triple crown champion in the UFC's no holes barred history. You're listening to Jason Marshall's We Don't Have Cookies. Cookies! I want some cookies! You better listen, otherwise I know where you live. John has gotten a lot of guest names wrong in the past. Never thought it would happen to me, but I'm kind of glad it did, and I hope you guys got a good laugh out of it. Speaking of a good laugh, you guys are in for a treat. I have had my next guest on every week to give you the weather, but this week he'll also be telling some jokes as a Thanksgiving bonus to all of you listening. Something to be thankful for. It's the podcast official weatherman, Frankie McDonald. Frankie, what will the weather be like starting this Monday? It's going to be a lot of snow in Wyoming and those places. In New York, it's going to bring more rain New York on Sunday night and Monday night. And it's going to bring a lot of snow in Wyoming. It's going to bring a whole lot of snow in Nebraska and Minnesota on Tuesday. Milwaukee's going to bring rain. In northwestern Wisconsin's getting snow on Tuesday. In Minnesota, St. Paul, Minnesota's going to get snow, including Omaha, Nebraska's going to get rain, snow mixed. And Lincoln, Nebraska's going to get a lot of snow. And parts, other parts of Nebraska is going to get a whole lot of snow because of the big storm system. Storm will start out in the Atlantic Ocean on Thursday and Friday. And it's going to bring a lot of rain and snow in Atlanta, Canada. And Vancouver, British Columbia is well overdue for 9.0 magnitude. Earthquake's going to do a whole lot of damage. It's well overdue. It's going to get it anytime soon because Vancouver, British Columbia, lies on the Cascadia subduction zone. Wow. Is there any weather that people internationally should be concerned about? There's a possible tropical cycle aiming it towards Fiji Islands or not new sometime this week. Well, that's very interesting, Frankie. Uh, last week, you were warning people about Black Friday in the U.S. Do you mind going over that again? Yeah, Black Friday, people getting trampled over, fighting over the stuff, fighting and beating each other up, trying to fight over the stuff in the States. Do you have any advice on what people can do to be safe as they go shopping on Black Friday? Be real careful. Have even more security guards than ever before. All right, Frankie. Well, last week we talked about how you would be on this week and tell us a few jokes. Do you mind getting into that? There's a bubble gum on your left sock. <laughs> there is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. But there's a crayon under your left arm. Under my left arm? Yeah. I don't see it. <laughs> <laughs> you got me, Frankie. <laughs> Do you have any more jokes for us? And then, guess what? What? Your TV's broken. It is. I was going to watch football today. <laughs> <laughs> well, Frank, have you done any comedy videos lately? I, I haven't been able to check up on uh, YouTube. The last comedy video I did is I tried to eat 100 peaches at once. Well, speaking of peaches, everybody really loved it when you sang peaches on the podcast a couple of weeks ago. Do you mind singing that one more time before you go? Yes. Moving to the country, going getting a lot of peaches. Moving to the country, going to eat me a lot of peaches. Moving to the country, going to eat me a lot of peaches. Moving to the country, going to eat me a lot of peaches. Peaches are breaking. What a put that one in me. Get a faster down, down. Moving to peaches. Peaches are me. Millions of peaches, pieces for free. Millions of peaches, pieces for me. Millions of peaches, pieces for free. Love it. Wow. That's awesome, Frankie. Is there anything you'd like to promote before you go? My folk and my action figures on the Amazon website. Go to Amazon to search Frankie McDonald for my folk and my action figure. 
and go to National Ballwoods Hall of Fame for Ty Talk and Frank and Del Ballwood. If you want to get Frank and Del t-shirts, go to www.thelostcon.com. All right, Frankie, it was great having you on. I and look what, forward to having you. What about that, that? I mentioned that on Twitter. The biggest fiddle in the whole world is in Sydney, Nova Scotia, Canada. Oh, wow. That's cool. Are you going to go see it? I saw it lots of times. Nice. If you had lots of money, you'll probably travel to Sydney. Yeah, I would like to come up there, especially to visit you. That would be really neat. Yeah, great idea. All right, Frankie. Well, thanks for being on the show today, and I look forward to having you back next week. Yes. Bye for now. I'm Frankie McDonald. You're listening to We Don't Ask Cookies radio show. Always love having Frankie on the podcast. He was on fire today. If you like Frankie as much as I do, make sure you support him by buying his stuff on Amazon. And while you're at it, support the show by using the podcast Amazon affiliate link at the bottom of the podcast website. We don't have cookies.com. The prices will stay the same. I won't see any of your personal info and I'll get a small percentage of what you spend. Now it's time for this week's Strange Days. If you're listening to this on the day it comes out, Monday, November 25th, is Shopping Reminder Day. I kind of want to make fun of that one, but uh, I haven't done any Christmas shopping yet, so maybe a Shopping Reminder Day exactly a month before Christmas isn't such a bad idea. Tuesday is Cake Day. Hell yeah, it is. Going to celebrate the shit out of that one. Thursday is Red Planet Day. I wonder if Frankie will be celebrating that day. He seems to be into astronomy stuff. I'll have to ask him about that next week. Friday is Electronic Greeting Card Day. You can send yours to Jason at WeDon'tHaveCookies.com. Saturday is Computer Security Day. I use McAfee for my computer. Use promo code WDHC to get 0% off. Finally, Sunday is Eat a Red Apple Day. And you know what they say? An apple Sunday will keep the doctor away. Everybody's saying it. I haven't talked about this much this year, if I've even brought it up at all, but today is the last month in the months of Jason, which if you're new to the show, the months of Jason are July, August, September, October, November. The first letter of those months spell my name. Celebrated it on the show for the past few years. This month was November, where I talked to all new guests on the show, except for the Thanksgiving episodes. Elena has been on the show before, but Cummy D hasn't, so that still counts. I really did enjoy the first-time guests, though. I hope you did, too. A lot of fun shows planned for next month. Former White House Director of Communications Anthony Scaramucci will be returning to the show The Christmas episode will be the same as last year, where I take a page from the Charles Dickens novel A Christmas Carol, and I'll be visited by guests from the show's past, present, and future. The guests from the show's past will make a lot of longtime listeners happy. Then the month will end with the return of comedian and tarot card reader Karen Rontowski to give us a glimpse into the podcast's future, and there will be a few announcements about some changes coming to the podcast in 2020. Normally, I play the same music to end the show each week, but this week, I'm going to do something a little different. A few weeks ago, comedian Nicole Tran was a guest on the podcast. She ended her interview by asking to sing, and she sang a verse from an old country song by Conway Twitty called Don't Cry Joni. Later in the episode, I said that maybe she would come back to sing the entire song someday. That day is today. Thanks for listening. I hope I gave you something to be thankful for this Thanksgiving, whether you live in the U.S. or not. And if I did, please tell your friends about the show and help spread the word. That's it for me this week. I'll talk to you next Monday. Johnny was a girl who lives next door. I know her, I get ten years or more. Johnny wrote me a note one day. And this is what she had to say. Jimmy, please say you wait for me. I go up someday, you see. Saving all my kids for you. I would love forever true. 
Slowly I read her note once more. Then I went over to the house next door. Her teardrops fell like rain that day. When I told Johnny what I had to say, Johnny, Johnny, please don't cry. You forget me by and by. You just sit in. I am twenty-two, and Johnny, I just can't wait for you. Soon I left our little hometown, got me a job and try to settle down. But these words keep haunting my memory. The words that Johnny said to me, Jimmy, Jimmy, say you wait. I grow up someday, you see. Saving all my kids is just for you. Sigh with love, forever true. I pack my clothes and I caught a plan. I had to see Johnny and I had to explain. How my heart was filled with her memory, and asked my Johnny if she married me. I ran all the way to the house next door, but things weren't like they were before. My tear drops fell like rain that day when I heard what Johnny had to say. Jimmy, Jimmy, please don't cry. You forget me by and by. It's been five years since you've been gone. Jimmy, I married your best friend, George. That's it. <laughs>